I'm going to pause here because this is the, probably going to be the newest information you guys are going to hear, which is about premium access. Premium access is something that we've introduced to all TriCasters, and it gives all these do contemporary cutting edge features. These are things that new tech uh, works on that are available in TriCasters, TC1s, VMCs, uh, TriCaster minis, TC410s, and it has a bunch of cool features we're going to highlight. Here's the graphic for premium access. We've got a couple things we're going to go over. We're going to go over live graphics, live panel, and the virtual uh, the NDI KVM. But while we're here, and later if you want to see this in action, you can ask me, with NDI's virtual PTZ capabilities, I can take a 4K source into a 1080 session and virtually pan in on a portion of that image. And now I turn a 4K source into a 1080 source, and I'm presenting that into my NDI ecosystem. So any source on your network can now be virtual, can now have a virtual PTZ. So if you're doing live sports and you have a really nice camera that's doing 4K and you want to get the golfer mid swing, you can virtually pan into that that source. It's amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. That's virtual PTZ running in the background because my source is NDI to them. Live graphics. I'm sure if you're familiar with new tech, we used to have this thing called live tech. We still have it. It's still supported to today. The live tech has sort of grown long in the tooth, if you will. It's, it's been around for a long time. With live graphics, we have sort of completely changed the game on how graphics can work in your NDI ecosystem. Live graphics leverages the same building tools that Adobe Creative Cloud uses today. If your graphics are built in Premiere, you can use live graphics. With a caveat being instead of rendering your graphics on your Adobe machine, you render them to the TriCaster's buff. So you're not doing any of the heavy lifting, you send it to the TriCaster, and now the, the 10 frame buffers of the TriCaster just became full motion graphics. I'll be able to showcase that at the end of the show here and actually show you some live graphics. If you're familiar with live text, similar to live text, live graphics lets you edit those graphics on the fly. Do you spell the guy's name wrong? Well, you can change that in the system. You don't have to wait to re-render the clips out. Got some built-in automation features that make it really slick is the premiere and ease of production. It also will lower the bar of entry to your graphics today. Maybe you know a Chiron guy. Maybe you know a Viz guy. Maybe you know a particular piece of the production, like one or two guys who know how to do that graphics platform. Almost every college today has an Adobe Creative Cloud license. The students today, you need to get somebody, they'll be able to use this product and create whatever kind of graphics you want. Live Panel is another, uh, another beautiful piece of software we make. It's a DIY software control panel. We'll showcase Live Panel up here if you guys want to see it. Uh, the short story is it lets you, with a, web, with a web browser, access every feature of the TriCaster remotely and build a custom software control panel. If you want to control your TriCaster from an iPad, iPad access to the web page, you can control your TriCaster with a touch screen. If you want to control your TriCaster from your phone, Live Panel. This is all part of premium access, which if you get a new system today, you get six months of premium access for free. Then we can do a monthly or yearly subscription beyond that. Um, so this is all part of this, this awesome set of features. If you have users who scale from public access all the way to broadcast, you're going to want to have some aspect of Live Panel in your production. It's very, very slick. Great for automation. Last but not least, we covered this earlier, NDI KVM. Any PC1, VMC1, or a product we don't have shown here, but the NC1 I.O. module can be accessed for free with NDI KVM. So that studio monitor application we talked about earlier, the entirely free application, you can actually go in there and pull the user interface to the TriCaster. I'm so confident in that. I'm actually going to do that right now. I'm going to run studio monitor. Give it a second. We're going to see some NDI sources. Uh, let's see. Oh, I actually already have it here. So this is the key code BMC user output. And then I can come in here and close. Uh, Dan, UK, if I switch something that's going live to the broadcast? All right, so I'm going to switch. So if you're watching us uh, on the key code stream, you now see me there. I'm controlling that TriCaster over there. No hardware, no hardware KVM between them just a network cable, entirely free. I'm going to let go of control of that. Dan, you can take over again. I believe that's the end of my slideshow. I, I think that's pretty much where we're at. We showcased some NDI Live. We talked about NDI 101. I now leave it open to questions. We have a million different NDI products around. We have a VMC in the back, an IP series, if you want to see that. We have Spark. We have PTZs. We have the new Spark Plus that a lot of people haven't seen out in the wild. 
We can now talk about NDI 4.0. Thanks, guys.